guys, so today I'm going to share with you all a skincare routine for maintaining the health and hydration of the skin of the hands. Um, I think this is a great routine for uh, pretty much anyone, to be honest with you. Uh, men and women uh, alike will, will find this to be helpful. Uh, this is something that I do consistently throughout the week. And I wanted to share with you all and, and kind of the rationale behind behind this. And as you can see here, it, it involves very few uh, products, all of which can be found in your drugstore at an affordable price. And uh, so it's something that's going to be easy to maintain and not take up a lot of space and complicate your life. And I'll explain the products that I'm using. Later in the video, I will also um, mention some alternatives that, that may be preferable to you. And don't worry, I will list all of these in the description box below, so be sure and expand that and take a look after the conclusion of the video, uh, rather than uh, hurriedly writing them down. So first up are my handy dandy tweezer man uh, nail clippers in the small size. I use these exclusively for the nails of my fingernails. I don't cut my toenails with these, A, because they're not the right size for the toenails, and uh, B, uh, I don't like transferring uh, nail cutting devices between my fingernails and toenails. These are mine, I'm the only person that uses them, and I uh, encourage you to not ever share your nail clippers with anyone else just to kind of cut down on uh, spreading friends back and forth. All right, the other reason I like Tweezer Man tweezers is that, the other reason that I like these nail clippers is that uh, Tweezer Man, uh, you know, you can send these in and uh, they will sharpen them for you uh, as part of uh, owning them and send them back to you. So uh, it's important to keep your nail cutters clip short, your nail, it's important to keep your nail clippers uh, good and sharp because if they're too dull, then they don't A, uh, cut the nail properly and, and B, this uh, jagged uh, cut can actually, uh, you know, make the nail more susceptible to breakage and, and uh, ridging down the road, which nobody wants. And then you'll see here I've got a pair of just plain white cotton gloves. You can pick these up in your drugstore and you can reuse them simply by washing them. So I really love these. They're breathable. They don't have any dyes that you could potentially become allergic to. And uh, they are fantastic in a hand care routine as I'll show you here in this video. Next up is a guy who is just so key in my life. It is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. I absolutely adore this product. Um, it is a thick petrolatum containing uh, emollient that helps occlude water onto the skin quite nicely, keeping the skin hydrated. Uh, likewise, I, I really enjoy this product because it contains an ingredient called ceramides. Ceramides are the most abundant lipid in the top layer of your skin, and in the setting of dry, irritated skin, ceramides can become a little bit deficient and really set the stage for, for making your dry, irritated skin persist. It has been shown that exogenously applying ceramides to the skin can actually boost your body's ability to make its own ceramides and really, really help in restoring the skin barrier and getting your skin back to, to really where you want it to be uh, when it's dry, discolored, and, and uh, kind of inflamed. This is important not only for the skin of the hands, but also the skin around the nails as well. And then next up in my lineup is the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Moisturizing Cream. This I enjoy. It is a skin protectant. It contains colloidal oatmeal in it, uh, which is a nice emollient. And this is also pretty thick and greasy. But I am fond of this product because uh, cosmetically I find that it blends into the skin really nicely and uh, doesn't leave a whole lot of sticky residue behind, so I'm enjoying it in that manner. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I'll be sure and mention some other uh, alternatives to these products as I go along. All right, so first thing I'll just point out, I never get my cuticles uh, pushed back or cut in manicure salons, nor do I do this myself. I encourage you, if you're doing this, to abandon this practice. The nail cuticle is really important to the health of your nails. It um, provides a nice tight water seal um, over the nail matrix, the part that grows the nail. Um, so I'm showing you that here. You see that half moon? That's your nail matrix. And he's nicely sealed off by the, the cuticle. And if you go jamming cuticle back, then uh, fungi can get in there, water, irritants, and lead to uh, brittle nails, thin nails, and uh, ridging. I cut my nails uh, a couple, maybe every two weeks uh, along the curvature of my uh, natural nail growth with my 
my nail cutters there. And uh, I like to keep my nails clipped short uh, for a variety of reasons. A, uh, my line of work, uh, you know, it, for hygienic purposes, I just find that it's, it's better hand hygiene. And uh, when the nail is too long, uh, it uh, is susceptible to external damage. Um, so that can lead to brittleness. Now, I've just dampened my hands with a little lukewarm water for illustrative purposes here, but uh, this is best done uh, immediately after a shower to wet hands. I come in with my friend here, the CeraVe Healing Ointment, uh, who I uh, gave a shout out to earlier. Um, I like CeraVe products. Alternatively, Aquaphor would work in this manner. It is also a thick and greasy emollient, or uh, just plain Petrolatum Vaseline. Uh, the key is really to get something that is thick and greasy because really what you want to do is trap the water onto the skin so it stays in the skin and doesn't evaporate. Okay, so you can see what I mean by thick and greasy here, how this is coming out. That's about how much I use to my, the entirety of my uh, wet hand. I'm just putting it here on the back of the hand known as the dorsum in medical ease. Um, and then, uh, you know, concentrating it around my, my nail beds as well, just getting a nice thick layer on on there making a nice seal. Um, like I said, Vaseline works fantastically in this manner and I'm just kind of massaging him around my cuticles. Um, I encourage you to avoid those expensive cuticle creams. They tend to con contain a lot of fragrance and potentially irritating uh, ingredients and really the, the key is just the hydration step. Uh, you don't need a, a fancy cream for, for just uh, keeping the nails soft and healthy. Now I'm coming in with my nice handy dandy white cotton gloves here. And this uh, serves a, a really great purpose in that it really traps, adds an additional trap, if you will, to water loss. And so now the CeraVe is in there and the water is in there. And this is really creating a nice little... Uh, hydrating uh, mask, if you will, without the need to actually buy some expensive cosmetic uh, hand mask, uh, which I think, you know, in Sephora can run you $8 for one little uh, cellophane baggie. So skip that. Uh, this is far, far better uh, and avoids exposure to unnecessary dyes and, and that sort of thing. Plus you can repurpose these white cotton gloves. They breathe nicely. Um, this is really a great way to go and is really a cornerstone actually in eczema and, and cornerstone therapy approach to, to eczema is something called uh, wet wraps, wherein uh, you take dry inflamed skin, uh, get it a little damp, and coat it with a thick and greasy moisturizer, and then seal it in a la mummy style. So that's essentially what I'm doing here. Um, and, you know, hanging out like this for a few hours while you, uh, you know, catch up on Netflix is a great idea. Alternatively, though, you know, you can just uh, do this overnight if you're really motivated, stay with the gloves on uh, and sleep that way uh, if you really want to hydrate and seal in the deal. Okay, so next up I'm coming in with my uh, friend Avino Eczema Therapy. Um, he, uh, like I mentioned, contains uh, colloidal oatmeal. Now, uh, he also has ceramides in it, so you kind of get a twofer here in that you get some soothing of the colloidal oatmeal, which has always been shown to be helpful in eczema, just sort of as a soothing property. It's got a good dimethicone and then the ceramides. Alternatively, this is another product by Avino that uh, is great in that it's fragrance-free, dye-free, allergen-free. This is just pretty much a heavy-duty dimethicone, which is very, very safe in skin barrier uh, care and is a great emollient. Wonderful here on the back of the hands. Uh, like I said, there's no fragrance in here. Now, folks frequently ask me about ingredients like acetyl alcohol um, and uh, isopropyl palmitate. Are those bad ingredients? No, they're actually important in just keeping some of the active ingredients stable and uh, safe for you. They're, they're not going to be drawing in the concentrations that they're found in a product like this. Uh, this is not like an alcohol-based toner that's going to desiccate your face. This is just a tiny bit of alcohol to stabilize the ingredient. Um, as an alternative to that, this is a, a great one as well. This is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, uh, which has a great ceramide blend in it, and it's nice and thick. You could also use that uh, applied to the hands after you take these gloves off. This product, uh, according to the CeraVe website, uh, for you cruelty-free uh, inclined folks, 
According to CeraVe's website, they do not test on animals. Now, I don't want to misspeak and say they're cruelty-free, uh, but uh, that's as far as I, I have, uh, have gotten to find that. Another cruelty-free um, alternative, however, that, that's pretty good is this Borage Therapy Advanced Formula. Um, in contrast to most, uh, you know, touted cruelty-free brands, this one's attractive to me in that it does not have any fragrance, which while, you know, they're not being cruel to the bunny, can, can really be cruel to your skin particularly if it's dry and inflamed, putting exogenous fragrance and botanic oils and essential oils on dry inflamed skin is a setup for both irritant and allergic contact dermatitis, which can make your skin problems worse and persist. This product, however, does not contain fragrance. I like it in that manner. It does uh, also contain oatmeal, which is nice. And it's got a few, uh, you know, uh, botanic. It's got a few vegetable oils that uh, can be helpful in soothing dry skin, like safflower oil, glycerin, jojoba. Uh, do know though that with natural oils, there is always the potential uh, again for allergic or irritant contact dermatitis. But this Shikai one, uh, you know, they, it has minimal offensive ingredients. I think this is a fairly safe one uh, as far as the cruelty-free ones go. Alright, so here I am coming in with my Aveeno Eczema Therapy uh, to my hands here. This is really a, a good one though. I, I really like this. I, I don't think they're cruelty free, however. And I just uh, put it on as a top coat, so to speak. I mean, my skin right now is really soft. And one of the things I'll point out is that, uh, you know, after when the skin is hydrated and, and, and you're doing this on to kind of damp skin, if you will, you'll note that um, it's not greasy going on. And the reason is the skin is taking it up nicely. All right, the other thing I'll point out is I, uh, just for my lifestyle, I don't paint my fingernails uh, from a professional standpoint. It just becomes, you know, basically unprofessional. <laughs> unprofessional. And um, also, I'm a minimalist, and I, I can't be bothered by that added complication of nail polish and what have you. Um, I do realize and appreciate that people like to have painted fingernails, so I'll leave you with this point. Do give your fingernails a break from the nail polish, at least... Uh, for a good week, a month, please. Uh, nail polish, shellac, clear, what have you. The reason being is that chronic, consistent wearing of nail polish uh, doesn't allow the nail plate to breathe and predisposes to dry nails and brittle nails. Um, the other thing, uh, if you can coordinate your nail polish, a nail lacquer free week with a visit to your dermatologist, this is fantastic. A pro tip, don't go to your dermatologist with nail polish on. It obscures our ability to examine your fingernails for things like, uh, oh, I don't know, melanoma, um, or, you know, little pesky warts and things that can develop under the nail. So uh, skip on into your dermatologist free of any uh, nail polishes. That will really uh, get you a lot more out of your skin exam. All right, now for day-to-day -day use, by by all means, do not, do not neglect sunscreen on the backs of the hands. Sun, skin cancers related to sun exposure on the backs of the hands are common, rampant, uh, and you might uh, note in whatever country you, in, in your country, whatever side of the road you drive on, uh, one hand may be a little uh, more affected than the other. Uh, that's because ultraviolet light uh, can come through the windshield and, and damage the skin. Uh, even despite uh, the, the glass. So don't neglect your sunscreen, particularly on the backs of your hands. I happen to like this one by Aveeno. I, I actually just grabbed it. It's Aveeno Baby. This is one that doesn't have any fragrance or dyes in it. It's zinc oxide based, so we'll give you a good uh, protection against that. The one offensive ingredient to me in this that I wish they had skipped is uh, chrysanthemum extract. I mean, th that has no role in this, and you can develop an allergy to that. So I will list some uh, zinc exclusive sunscreens below that uh, do not contain uh, chrysanthemum in them. Uh, uh, namely the Vanny Cream one and some others that I have on my list of faves. So check the scripto box below, but here I am. You can see my skin is hydrated, it's sun protected, and I am ready to go about my day. Um, and yeah, um, I, I take a lot of wear and tear on my hands uh, at work. I wash my hands consistently as part of uh, going from patient room to patient room. So as someone be, somebody with a uh, background of eczema, if I don't keep on top of uh, good uh, moisturizers to my hands throughout the day, I will really turn into a, a scaly uh, mess. 
but I encourage you to consider this minimalistic hand care routine uh, and uh, sort of skip all the other fancy schmancy stuff. You might find that uh, A, your wallet uh, is improved and, and B, you know, the health of your skin improves and then all of a sudden the appearance of your hands looks a little bit better uh, without all the expensive uh, hyped up nonsense. Um, so yeah, I hope this uh, skincare routine was helpful to you. Again, please check out the description box below for Rex and let me know what you think. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, 